If you invested $10,000 in Disney stock 10 years ago, you would have $18,380 today. In other words, you would have gotten a return on investment of 83.8% in the last decade. Now, that's not an incredible rate of return for a company in 10 years. So how did Disney come to this conclusion in the last decade? I'm going to go through that in this video looking at Disney's important financial metrics over the last decade. So you're not going to want to miss that. And as a bonus at the end of the video, I'm going to answer if investors today can buy Disney stock and hold it for the next decade. So if you're looking for the next decade, is Disney stock a good one to buy? I'm going to answer that question in this video at the end. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So starting with revenue growth, Disney has experienced some big fluctuations in the last decade, namely in the last few years as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. The company had to shut down all its theme parks around the world, as well as its hotels, resorts temporarily, as well as its cruise ships temporarily, as well as many of its other activities that it engages in. So the pandemic was a devastating blow to Disney. As you can see, revenue collapsed in that uh, year or two. Several quarters revenue was negative before recovering and now getting back on trend to its long-term growth rate. But in addition to the impacts of the pandemic in the last decade, Disney is experiencing another headwind, and that is the rapid shift of consumers moving away from traditional cable and satellite subscriptions and moving towards streaming. Disney has a robust cable segment that delivers a significant portion of the company's revenue and operating profits, and that's been uh, dwindling, and that's been pressured because of that change of consumers over to streaming now disney is adjusting to that it launched its own streaming service disney plus it also owns a significant percentage of hulu and it also has espn plus over the three of those services it has over 220 million subscriptions overall it's got more subscriptions than netflix does so it's really rolling out and really going all in in terms of its streaming segment but it's going to take time before that segment hits maturity grows to a level where it can reach profitability management has said in the next fiscal year the streaming segment could turn profitable. So over the last three or four years, the company's been investing aggressively in the streaming segment, but it's not been earning a profit yet. So that's been pressuring the company as well. And you could see here Disney's net income over the trailing 12 months. Look at that nice upward trajectory all the way up until the pandemic when its net profits got crushed, absolutely hammered from over 10 billion down to negative 5 billion for a couple of periods during the trailing 12 months during the pandemic. It's now recovering. It's had a profit of billions and billions for several quarters now, 3.3 billion in the most recent trailing 12 months. But it's still got a lot of room to go before it recovers completely to the level of where it was before the pandemic and it's going to be a gradual recovery it's not going to happen all at once so investors buying or interested in disney stock today can expect a nice gradual recovery over the next several years speaking of considering buying Disney stock, one thing you will have to consider is the valuation and looking at Disney's forward price to earnings ratio of 22.85, the stock has, is close to the cheapest it's been according to this metric in the last year. You could see this chart here. Disney stock is close to the lowest it's been. And this is not so much a result of the stock price declining, but more so as the stock price has stayed relatively flat, but its earnings have been increasing. So if earnings are increasing and the stock price is staying flat, that means you as an investor are getting a better value because you're getting more 
for your dollar you're getting more earnings for the market price that you're paying to buy the stock and that's a good thing if you're interested in buying a stock so investors today thinking about buying Disney stock and holding it for 10 years I want to thank the I Motley Fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy I now. think that would be a very good investment I think holding Disney stock buying it today and holding it for 10 years I think would be a very good investment I think at the end of the decade your your wealth will be considerably improved by owning Disney stock now how much will that increase? I can't tell you precisely. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I could tell you is that the market price of Disney shares are likely to be higher 10 years from now than they are today. Uh, considerably higher 10 years from now than they are today. So if you're thinking of buying Disney stock today, I think it's a good choice. I think you should go ahead and, and do that. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. I've hand-selected a few other ones of my videos that I think you'll enjoy. So please click on one of those, and I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching.